What's going on guys? Today's training is upper body push, lower body pull. We're starting with a functional press where we're driving off that same leg that's pressing, activating the glute, pressing all the way through the hand and making sure our pec is turned on as we press. Supersetting that with a powerful plyo throw, driving off the down leg and extending all the way through the hand. Guys, this is a way to make the connections from ground, through your glute, through your core, through your hand, even stronger. Let's hit the other side. As you can see, I drive off that left foot, through the glute, through the core, and then rotate through that left hand. And here's a slow-mo look at the throw. I'm gonna drive off the ground, drive through the hand and propel the opposite leg forward. Give it a go. After our plyos, we're gonna get into strength work. Five sets of five reps. I like to do five to eight reps. Yes, I'm banging the 120 pound dumbbells. As you can see, full range of motion. Keep those plant feet planted on the ground. Your glutes engaged, your core tight. All the way down, all the way up. Get big. Guys, five sets of five here. Focusing on strength of movement. Unfortunately, these are the heaviest dumbbells we got. But I'm gonna make them work, baby. I'm gonna make them work. We're supersetting this with four sets of eight reps of Nordic curls. I control the down part, the eccentric, and then I try to come up nice and fast, keeping those glutes engaged, using those hammies. This is the strength work. Now we're into our accessory work. Three sets, 10 to 12 reps each movement. First one we got bottoms up kettlebell press. Strong foundation, my glutes are engaged, my core is tight. As you can see, I'm all the way down, pressing all the way up, and there's a slight rotation at the top of the press, activating that core. Then we're into lateral raises. Guys, lead with the pinkies. Have the pinkies be the high point of your lift. And then we're in a single leg reverse hypers. This is gonna really strengthen those glutes, that posterior chain. If you're not strong enough, you can do both legs in. And then finally, our seated good morning acts as a stretch and a lower back exercise. Touch those upper abs and pecs to the bench. Last but not least, we're gonna finish off with some incline neutral grip dumbbell press. I'm banging with the 75s here. Guys, we have two sets trying to get 15 reps. We're gonna go right into parallel push-up, get the full range of motion. We're really trying to fatigue those pecs and those triceps after a strong upper body push day. Then we're gonna get into our low Pull through, really focus on a slow low, but really squeeze those glutes. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings, and then squeeze the glutes. Gonna finish with dumbbell front curl. At least that's what I call them. Stretch out that upper back, those hamstrings, nice and slow and controlled. We wanna hold for five seconds and then come back up. This is a great exercise to bulletproof the lower back and hammies. Guys, give this workout a go.